Hello, I'm Professor Jim Teague. For a little while, I'd like to discuss with you today the team charter that you're about to fill out. This is one of the first deliverables you'll have for your integrated project. You'll refer to this later in the semester. So it's a work in progress. It's a living document, if you will. So let's begin with a few questions. As you're about to begin this integrated project, what is truly important to you? Is it the grades? Is it the experience? Is it perhaps winning the Consulting Cup Challenge? But to think about it, this is an opportunity for you to have something in your portfolio, your academic portfolio. Perhaps at the end of this academic year, you'll be going out on internship interviews. This is something you can present to them. This is the work I'm capable of. This is the teamwork that I'm able to do. So what is important to you? And what is important to your teammates? So as you begin this, think about what are your strengths? What are your graces? What gifts do you really have? The talents you have? Of course, each of you do. Each of us do. They're embedded in us. And each of us, we come from different walks of life. We have different experiences. What are you good at? What are your talents? So not to be bragging or anything, but it might be an opportunity to have this frank and open discussion with your teammates. So a new semester is upon you. Here you are in your sophomore year at Gabelli. Think about it. You're one fourth of the way through your academic career here at Fordham. I hope it's been a wonderful experience for you. So now let's get to work. What do you really want to accomplish this semester? Is it the grades? Is it the experience? Is it accomplishing something? What do you really, what is your best opportunity that you had in your freshman year? Each of you took the ground floor course where you touched upon different aspects of business and what you want to major in. So which one really struck your fancy that you say, this is what I want to do? Are the people in your life perhaps that you want to emulate, that they're satisfied in their careers, that they're doing well and you want to be like them? So think about these goals that you have as you begin this academic year. So what is it really all about? Is it about the grades? Of course, grades are important. That's where you're here. But what is important to you and for your teammates? Are the people who are in your life, do you really want to emulate to have a career? So as you look at this team charter, there's different roles and different responsibilities. Here you are put with a group of people from different parts of Fordham. Perhaps somebody is a commuter, different ethnic backgrounds, different walks of life. And these are people, quite frankly, we're trying to model after well, who you'll be working with when you go out and begin your career. So the first team role and responsibility that we'll speak about is the external coordinator. This is the person who's responsible for submission of all the team deliverables. Their responsibility, including this one, the team charter. This person will be the one who hands it in, who keeps after people, asking them, did you meet the deadline as you work together as a team? The next one is the internal coordinator. This person schedules the team meetings, whether in person or as we're doing right now, virtually. This is the go-to person. Somebody has a good reason not to be present for a meeting. They're the one who tells them, hey, I can't be there today, or I'll be joining you late. So this is the person has that kind of responsibility. The next person is the presentation coordinator. This person needs to be the creative one. Brings all this together, all the research you've done, all the writing you've done, and then as you do the team project and you do your pitch at the end of the semester, this person brings it all together, the presentation coordinator. The next one is the written report coordinator. Well, they need to have a way with words. How's your writing skills? 
maybe this is the person you suggest that puts it that puts it all on paper and puts it be able to write. So must be able to bring the life to the written word. It's a challenge. Yes, sometimes we're good at conversing, but can we really write it down and put words into action? The next person is a team effectiveness coordinator. But though you're responsible to and for one another, and at the end of the semester, you're gonna be doing that and rating one another, this keeps the entire team on task. Yes, time is of the essence. 15 weeks, the semester goes by so quickly. As you've probably seen, the summer went by like that in the blink of an eye. So get to work. Do it all as much as you can and be on time. So this person keeps people on task. How effective are you as a team? The next one is the devil's advocate. How critical are you? Not critical as saying you're doing a bad job, but critical thinking, critical reading. How this person, although is the responsibility of every team member, they need to be objective. Looking at the problem that you're going to solve for your IP company from different perspectives, being objective about it. And a suggestion that I make to my own classes through the years has been to bookmark this company. Learn, read about them every day. You have the resources available to you through the Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal. What is your company doing today? What effect does perhaps the economic climate that we're in have upon your company, upon this industry? It could be something that you need to look at as you do the problem solving, or it might be something that brings down your entire idea. Yes, be open and keep reading. Be critical, looking at things from different angles. Really be on top of things. Keep reading every day the news of your IP company that you have. The next person is the conflicts manager. Although conflicts can be a good thing, as we read about management teams can have a good fight. And yes, we learn from one another and looking at things from different vantage points and having conflict, are we really listening? But then things perhaps might get out of hand. And if they do, when do we know when to say enough is enough? and we move on. The next role is the note taker. Yes, meetings take place, and yes, memory is a good thing, but also memory can be jaded and can be also be subjective. The person takes down the notes from the each meeting, keep track of things, whether they're recorded or written down by hand. So the next, keep a history of it, a legacy. And then you can refer back to things and realize that maybe something was said at the beginning of the semester that you don't actually recall that was done in midpoint or later in the semester. And then a meeting timekeeper. We all have busy schedules, of course. We have other classes and we have other things to do. So be respectable of one another's time. If a meeting lasts for an hour, let it last for an hour. So keep time and always have a cheerleader. Somebody that brings joy to this. It's supposed to be a fun experience and a learning experience. So be kind to one another. And then, but also take time to know one another. Yes, it's not all about work. And these experiences and the people that you meet along the way, especially your teammates. Some have done tremendously. And I know from my own experience, there's some of them who remain good friends so they're out their term here at Gabelli and beyond. I even have one, they met their significant other and at graduation they were still going out together. So be a cheerleader and realize these people who are there with you, your teammates, are there for the same purpose. But their goals might be different and learn to work together. So as you look at this charter, this document, this living document if you will, also remember when do you plan to meet? Put it in your schedules. Have that time as almost a sacred time that you're going to be with one another, whether here virtually or perhaps in person. There are facilities there on campus where you can book a room, book an office, and yes, work together. You know, we could do things on Zoom. It's a very different, you guys are in a very different generation than I'm familiar with. 
So you could do many things virtually too. So when do you plan to meet? How do you plan to meet? Whether in person or virtually? And communication is always key. Yes, if somebody meets, misses a meeting or is late, bring them up to speed. But as a note taker also, going back to one of the early roles and responsibilities we discussed, realize that you can refer to things. So how do you communicate? Whether a group text on WhatsApp Perhaps, you know, maybe box. There's so many different ways of doing things like that. So keep that uniform. And then what is the pace of your work? Don't be slacking off. As I said, time goes by. Soon, yes, the semester will end. So how do you keep up with these deadlines? What is the pace of your work? Try to get things done as soon as you can. So the next part, Next section is, how will decisions be made? Discuss that among your teammates. Is it going to be by consensus, or is somebody going to be the ultimate decider? Yes, it's a big project, and many different facets that you're going to be pulling in from. So communicate with one another is always essential, and realize that this is something that you're going to carry with you, and hopefully be able to present to your potential employers or your potential internships and say this is the work that I'm capable of doing. So to go throw back to the very beginning, what is important to you? Is it just about the grades or is it really to show the best work that you can? You did the ground floor just last year. What really striked your interest? What piqued your interest? I said, wow, I'd really like to have that as my background, as my foundation. It's an ever-changing world that is there. But this team charter, you're off to a good start. And yes, as you begin this, have that frank discussion. What are your goals? What are your strengths? What are you not so good at? And that's even more challenging to look at. Yes, we are, each of us are given different gifts and different talents. Here's an opportunity to speak about yours and to share your gifts and talents with your teammates. I hope you have a wonderful experience. I'm sure that you will. And of course, if you ever need help, reach out to any of the faculty. Your management professors especially are there, your biggest cheerleaders, and will always be willing to meet with you, individually or as a team. Keep up the good work. You have a wonderful, wonderful opportunity ahead of you, and we'll always be rooting for you. All the best. Mm -hmm.